I was once told that women lose their value after 30. It literally drops in half. I was 29 and I had six months before I turned 30. It was during a podcast with the late Kevin Samuels and I argued with him. First of all, Kevin Samuels and anybody else that had that messaging never told you that women lose their value after 30. What they have said is that at 30 and beyond, you lose your viability in certain areas, maternity, men's preferences. So this is about the dating market as, as, as what men want and what men look for. It has nothing to do with losing your value as a person in general. A lot of you ladies like this, you love to try to skim over the truth and not tell the whole truth. But that is a fact. For all you ladies watching that, that wants to follow that narrative, men are not talking about who you are as a person. It's about preference. I got pissed off with him. I couldn't help but think about what my boyfriend at the time was thinking because he was a huge Kevin Samuels fan. Anyway, today happens to be my 31st birthday. That boyfriend and I broke up. I got over a year of therapy, I started doing music, started doing my own nails, taught myself how to sew so I can better my swimsuit company, started my passion projects of giving back. Honestly, I don't know what value he was referring to. I yes, you do. You're ignoring it because you just want to validate your behavior and everything that you said in the last 15 seconds was all about you bragging about what you've done and your accolades. I'm pretty sure it was something about being in the dating marketplace or some bullshit. Let me tell y'all something. I don't give a fuck what y'all think about my value. Cause wow, so ladylike. And yes, you do care. That's why you're making this video. You surely waited to make this video after he was gone, though. Interesting. I place value on myself. You don't determine your value in the male's perspective when it comes to the dating marketplace. So you can be independent, stuck on yourself, giving yourself your own uh, uh, um, validation, your own ranking, your own worth in, through men's eyes. You can determine all of that. No, sweetheart, it don't work like that. And you are set on a path to be alone the rest of your life with this attitude. It only gets worse because you're 31 now. The older women tend to get, the more and more and more they slide to the dark side. For my fellow women out there who are younger than 30, older than 30, are being told that we exist solely to reproduce. Your value. Nobody ever said that. More lies. See, this is the type of stuff y'all ladies got to be careful about listening to. Don't for a minute, minute think that she has your best interest at heart because she does not. Is what you make it. I don't care how old I am. I care about how old I feel, how old I look, and how wise I'm becoming. Because baby, with age, <laughs> I don't hesitate to set boundaries. I know my worth. The enemy wants you to think otherwise so you can rush into situations that are not for you. And see, that's another thing that they try to use as a, an excuse. They try to make it now a war. The enemy. Right? It's not about the enemy. It's about the truth. It's about your biological nature. If you want to be an independent woman, you want to be the boss, babe. You want to run everything. You want to be over a man and you want to do all these things Then stay single. Stop trying to find that high value man. Be independent with yourself. That's the definition of independent. Independent don't mean you got somebody else. So if you want to be like that, be like her. Think you so fine. And your value is so high and you don't care what people think. You don't care what men think. Then you're going to be alone. Just be alone. Because no man is going to want to put up with that. And you want to make this video after Kevin Samuels is gone. Do you think that nobody is going to have anything to say to you? Women like you love to misrepresent the message that not just. And, and, and another thing, that messaging that you heard from Kevin Samuels did not come from him. Let's just keep it a buck. 
This is something men have been talking about in the dark corridors and the barbershops for a long time. Kevin Samuels just had the balls to get on Internet and make videos about it. This is not new. So if you think that you're going to get in these videos, make all these comments about men in general and not have any responses, any replies, any checks on what you have to say. Then you're fooling yourself. And all you're doing by saying, I don't give up. All you're doing is masking the fact that you know that somebody's going to have something to say because you know that you're wrong. You can be right all you want to, but you will be by yourself. And ladies that listen to this rhetoric will be by themselves. No man is telling no woman your only job is to have babies and be in the damn kitchen. That's a myth. What men are saying is, I want you to be a feminine woman. I want you to be true to your feminine nature. That's all I want. I'll carry the majority of the load if you just be in your feminine nature all the time and you don't compete with me. That's all men want and appreciation for what they do. But you see, women like you, you want to be the man and you want to be the woman. You want to be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. You want your word to be the end all word. You want to have control because you are independent. And that is what it's really about. So again, if you want to be independent and you want to roll with this messaging, then please be by yourself. Leave men alone. How about that? You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.